Next, we'll look at the file name search module, which is another very powerful and fast feature that you will more than likely use on just about every case. A basic search simply involves entering a search string in location. Any files or folders that contain the search string within the file name will be displayed in the search results. For instance, searching for file will match file.txt, test.file, or myfile.doc. The basic search is case insensitive. You can select one of the preset search options to quickly locate certain file types, such as image files or office docs, and you will notice there is a section at the bottom titled Custom. The presets listed under the Custom section are, will be ones that were created by you, the user. Creating a custom preset is a breeze in the configuration window. Simply enter the search criteria in the search string box and choose Save As to name your new preset. You can even include or exclude folders as shown here in this slide. Your new presets or changes to the existing ones are immediately reflected in the file name search presets .txt file located in the program data directory. You do not need to directly edit this file as all editing is done within the OS Forensics interface. Here we see the results of the large images preset scan on a specific directory. Once completed you can then sort the results by one of the many selections available under the sorting options as shown here. Using a sorting option such as grouping images by foreground color, for instance, might be beneficial in grouping files containing common skin tones together. When viewing compressed or compound files from the file name search module, such as zip files for instance, simply double click the file, which will then present you a list of files contained within that compound file. From here you can choose to view those individual files by clicking on them. They will be opened in the OS Forensics File Viewer. You can add the list or the files themselves to your case through the right click menu options. Choosing the Add Results to Case or Export Results to File options will only include the list of the results and not the actual files themselves. To add a file or group of files to your case, you will need to check mark those files and choose the Add Files to Case or Save Files to Disk options under the Items Check section. You will also notice other options such as Tag Files, which will bookmark those files for a quick review later, but won't necessarily, uh, maybe you want to add them to your case until you've had a better chance to go through them. This is handy for just quickly tagging a group of files that you want to look at in, in much greater detail later on throughout the investigation. You can also add any selection of files to a logical image by using the Add to Logical Image option. If a hash set is currently active in the Hash Sets module, you can choose the Look Up in the Hash Set option which will hash all checked files and compare them against the active hash set. We'll cover those options in greater detail a little bit later in the course. OS Forensics version 8 introduced the new face detection and illicit image detection AI scans. The face detection scan will search the specified drive or location for all images that likely contain faces. The illicit image detection will scan a drive or directory for images that may contain nudity or other related types of explicit material. The photos taken with iPhone scan will search the metadata of all image files, searching the EXIF data for Apple iPhone cameras. This is a unique but very useful feature. Another new feature is the multi-track video file search. Recent research showed it was possible to create video files with multiple video tracks, and these additional tracks are typically hidden by most forensics tools and media players. There is 
a unique but realistic method that criminals could very likely use to hide contraband video within a normal video file. And OS Forensics was the first commercial forensics tool on the market to implement this feature. Users can now tell on a live system or a disk image in a matter of just minutes whether any video file contains multiple tracks. And once located, OS Forensics can then view those additional tracks that are often missed by the other tools. The multi-track video files will scan a location for all video files, then sort those returns by uh, number of video tracks after processing the video files metadata. Here we can see an example of a video file that has multiple tracks that was identified by OS Forensics. Double clicking the file opens it in the OSF file viewer as shown here and you can see that the file viewer is currently playing at track 1 in this slide. Here we see the same video file but we're seeing track 2 after selecting track 2 from the video track drop down menu. As you can tell on this slide it is a completely different video series being played that was hidden within the same video file. In this example we see the face detection scan in action. First OS Forensics located all image files from the specified directory. Then it analyzed each image for the presence of faces based on algorithmic searching. Images that potentially contain faces will be highlighted in green and sorted with the images containing faces at the top. When an image is open in OS Forensics File Viewer, you can click the Analyze button, as outlined here in this example, which will display a bit more details about the face detection, the image itself, and even includes the MD5 and SHA-1 hash of that file. While on the subject of video files, it should be noted that OS Forensics has animated thumbnails for video files. When reviewing large amounts of video files in the thumbnail view, you can now simply hover your mouse over the video to see a preview of the video without actually opening the video file. This feature can potentially save investigators hours of review when sifting through large amounts of video evidence.